Hey guys, today we are learning Graveside Invocation, another oldie that was requested in our comments. Um, yeah, drop B tuning, lots of open string chugging, low string. In the intro you have these octave chords all on the fifth and third string. Five seven, eight ten, seven nine, ten twelve, twelve fourteen, and it goes like this. There's your intro. The verse, uh, very much inspired by. Bands like uh, Annihilator, and almost like a Voivod thing. A lot of weird stuff going on, pretty atypical for us. Uh, other than the fact that there's dyads, of course. So, okay. Dyad at 6, and 5, and the shape changes. Fifth string, open one, hammer on. And open, open, going up to the third string. Back to one. Three on the third string. Two. With these riffs, if your third string is off even a little bit, it sounds like dog shit. I tune the third string, just for my ears, it sounds better if it's barely sharp on the tuner. Everything seems to just work better. So second half of that verse. Dyads again. 10, 8. Here's your shapes. Similar thing just up here on the fifth fret. Five, six, five, seven, six, and then uh, seven on your third string. Five on your third string. That's three, three, seven, five, five, eight. We use that chord shape a lot on cursive conception. Very sad sound. So breaking the whole thing down here. That's pretty tricky, honestly. Five, six, five, seven. Getting to that seven real quick is, is pretty difficult. You gotta pick it twice, you can't really hammer it on. So five, six, five, seven, six, seven, seven, six, five, seven, six. Okay, there's your verse. Um, the chorus, I remember when I originally wrote it, it was um, it was one of those deals where it was like lead and rhythm at the same time. I was trying to do that. Whatever, like playing the bar chords and the leads at the same time. But it just, it was a little too messy, the, the parts a little bit faster. Uh, than when I use that technique on other sections of the album. So I remember racking my brain for how to how to rework the chorus and make it work, and I just started thinking about uh, breaking the law, how it's just single notes, you know? Very powerful. And I kind of took the part that I had and just played it in that style instead. So you end up... It's all uh, like bass seven on the four string. That's eight ten. Eight seven eight. Go up to fourteen. Fourteen twelve fifteen. 15. We have a hammer on here. 
12, 13, 12, 15, 14, 12, 15, 14. Just minor pentatonic. It's all the next part's similar. Just end up at 12 with your ring finger here. 12, 10. going to be a two-parter because um, the next section there's there's quite a bit going on and there's little details that I don't want to gloss over so see you in part two of graveside invocation